let us discuss about electrochemical equivalent and its expression. See, you will get this term in Faraday's first law. Faraday's first law that gives a relation between the amount of substances deposited or released at respective electrodes and the quantity of charge supplied through that electrolytic solution. For that, let us consider the electrolysis of fused NaCl, that means liquid NaCl. So, now the Na plus ions involving in reduction to deposit as sodium at cathode, now Cl minus ions involving in oxidation to release as Cl2 gas at anode. These quantities of substances deposited or released at respective electrodes is related to charge. That relation is given by Faraday's first law. So, as per the Faraday's first law, the amount of substance deposited that is W is directly proportional to the charge supplied Q. Now, W is equal to proportionality constant Z into Q. This Z is electrochemical equivalent. Now, write the expression for Z that Z is equal to W over Q. The definition of the Z is when one coulomb of charge is supplied the deposited quantity of substance is Z. Here we have a generalized expression for Z. With the help of that one, we can calculate the Z value for any substance. Before this, let me explain a term that is Faraday. One Faraday is equal to 1 mole of electrons charge one mole of electrons means avogadro number of electrons into one electrons charge that would be equal to one mole of electrons charge avogadro number 6.023 into 10 to the power of 23 and one electron charge is 1.602 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs. If you simplify this, that if you simplify this, one Faraday is equal to approximately 96500 coulombs. Now come to this case, that is expression of Z. For that, consider the deposition of two substances one is sodium deposition from Na plus ions another one aluminium deposition from aluminium 3 plus ions here one mole of sodium that is deposited with one mole of electrons charge and there 3 moles of electrons charge can deposit 1 mole of aluminium. 1 mole of electrons charge equal to 1 Faraday. 1 mole of sodium is molar mass of sodium. And there 3 moles of electrons charge is 3 Faraday. And 1 mole of aluminium means molar mass of aluminium. Now, the amount of sodium deposited is molar mass of sodium for that the charge supplied is 1 Faraday. There the amount of aluminium deposited is molar mass of aluminium for that the charge supplied is 3 Faraday. We know electrochemical equivalent of substance is equal to weight of substance deposited by the charge supplied for the deposition. Here weight of sodium is molar mass of sodium and the charge supplied is 1 Faraday. 
similarly the electrochemical equivalent of aluminium is equal to molar mass of aluminium by the charge supplied that is 3 faraday now focus on the denominator part 1 is equal to valency factor of sodium and 3 is equal to valency factor of aluminium now the electrochemical equivalent of sodium is equal to molar mass of sodium by valency factor of sodium into 1 by f the electrochemical equivalent of aluminium is equal to molar mass of aluminium by valency factor of aluminium into 1 by f we know equivalent weight equivalent weight E is equal to molar mass by valency factor from that relation the Z value of sodium is equal to equivalent weight of sodium by F and Z value of aluminium is equal to equivalent weight of aluminium by Faraday so from these two relations we can generalize the expression for Z Z value of any substance is equal to equivalent weight of the substance by Faraday or Z of substance is equal to equivalent weight of substance by 96500 these are the general expressions for set.